Welcome to today's video guys, my name is Angel and today is a brand new Coachella Monday video. If this is your first time coming across my channel, I make a brand new Coachella video every single Monday. And today's video is one of the most requested videos, it's a car camping, everything you need to know. So to be honest, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, I've only been car camping one time in 2016 and I've been going to Coachella for over 10 years, I'm a local resident here so I don't have the most experience on car camping, but I was able to do some research and I put the link in the description to some of those videos that I watched. So I'm gonna give you guys the best tips that I found. And again, if I go over something that you might think people need to know because you've had previous Coachella experience at car camping, let us know in the comments. Because again, this community is about helping each other. We all wanna have the best time at Coachella. So if you have more tips, let us know in the comments. First, I'm gonna go over the items and then I'm gonna give you guys my tips at the end of the video. Some of the key essentials that you're gonna need, of course, is number one is a bandana. You need a bandana, you need a face guard whether you're inside the festival, whether you're car camping or just staying the night because there's gonna be a lot of dust, there's gonna be a lot of debris and you wanna avoid the Coachella flu, the Coachella cough, whatever people call it, the Coachella plague. Just wear a bandana, it's gonna cover your face and that's all you need to know. Number two is kind of makes perfect sense, is a canopy. When I have a canopy, you wanna have an easy up. When you have these items, make sure you guys bring some steaks because it's really hot during the day but as soon as the sun goes down, a couple of times there's been a lot of wind and picks up. You don't want your canopies to be flying around and hurting other people, damaging other cars, damaging your own car. So make sure you guys bring some stakes and they don't allow metal stakes, but you could bring some of those plastic stakes that they sell at Walmart, Home Depot. That way you guys could actually secure your canopies and stuff. If you're gonna have a tent at Coachella, maybe you've never actually set one up yourself. You wanna practice at home before you actually do it in the festival. And then that way you guys could be familiar with the process. So when you're doing it and it's 100 degrees outside, frustrated, you're not just getting mad. And then make sure your tents are 10 by 10 because your space is gonna be 10. 10 feet by 30 feet so you don't want to get a 12 by 12 tent because you're going to be invaded into your neighbor's space since it gets extremely hot you want to be able to shade your your area so bring in some camo netting put around every single of the poles and that way you guys could actually block out the sun and actually create a little bit of a breeze or you could use some blankets if you don't have camo netting you don't want to spend that extra money maybe put some blankets and tie them up against the poles and this is actually a pro tip for life you always want to have toilet paper and wipes in your vehicle because you never know where you're going to need that stuff like for me i work and I drive out of town all the time and I always make sure I have that in my car because you never know. You don't want to be cutting off all your sleeves so always carry toilet paper, always carry wet wipes because especially in a festival, 100,000 people, they're going to be using these restrooms and you might get the unlucky freaking stall. So wet wipes are also good because you could be wiping off the dirt off your face, off your hands. Maybe you don't want to take a shower, you're going to be so nasty. You're so nasty. <laughs> then uh, use some wet wipes to wipe off the dirt and at least you're going to be a little bit clean technically not really clean I don't know hand sanitizer again another key essential now this is if you're gonna be showering of course you, you guys better be showering inside the festival if you're camping at the campgrounds if you're gonna be showering bring some sandals because you don't want to be walking around the nasty ass water that's gonna be there now for your cell phone bring multiple portable chargers not just one maybe a Mophie that's gonna charge your phone when you're inside the festival they do have plug-in stations inside but you want to you don't want to be missing out on your favorite performances or some incredible sets because you're gonna be charging your phone at one of the uh, charging stations. It doesn't really make sense if you're gonna be at Coachella spending all this money. You might as well experience the music. So bring a Mophie and when you have it at the campgrounds have multiple chargers where you can charge your Mophie, you could charge your phone or one of those um, battery packs that you plug into things. So a couple more options than just one because you're gonna be there for three or four days and you might run out of power. Another thing is it gets dark at night so bring a flashlight. Now the next tip is to have jumper cables. So if you're gonna be car camping at Coachella you want to have jumper cables and I'll tell you a little story of what happened to me back at Coachella 2017. We and ended up listening to music because the we were day parking but there was so much traffic so much people leaving the festival we were like and eh, whatever let's just relax in a car turn on the music by the time i tried to leave the car did not turn on i had to call a tow truck service and since we're inside the festival grounds it took almost an hour and a half just to get somebody to jump my car and it was the worst experience and if you're gonna be day parking and your car dies you don't want to be stuck in there just waiting for somebody to rescue you so jumper cable so that way nobody has an excuse because i literally asked so many people i was like hey do you guys have cables or if you guys want to jump me and they're like oh no we don't got cables like there was like so many thousands of cars and no one had fucking cables i was so mad that day next up is just common sense make sure you guys have activated your wristband prior to entering the festival make sure you guys bring your car camping sticker for entering the festival when i was doing this research for this video
video, some people said that they like to cook hamburgers, they like to cook hot dogs, kind of like a barbecue outside. So if you guys bring frozen food, make sure you guys bring ice, bring two ice chests. One, dry ice where you're gonna keep your ice stored for the entire weekend. And then you wanna have a separate one where you have your food and you can always be transferring the ice from the dry ice area into the regular food area, storage, ice chest. And they do sell ice inside the festival, but it runs any, anywhere between $10 to 15 bucks for a freaking bag of ice. And that's gonna get really expensive over a three day weekend. So make sure you bring some dry ice to keep your ice cold. Just don't try to get too fancy with your food because you are gonna be in 100 degree weather. You just want something quick so you could like, I don't know, just eat a little bit. Now when it comes to sleeping, maybe wear some earbuds because you don't wanna hear all the noise or you just wanna just go to sleep. Bring some earplugs, maybe some headphones, listen to music when you go to sleep. It depends on how you like to go to sleep anyway. You wanna bring some medicine. You wanna bring some Tylenol. You wanna bring some Pepto, some allergy medicine because you never know what's gonna be going on over a three day weekend. It might not just be for you. It could be for your neighbor. It could be for somebody camping with you. So bring in some medicine and make sure it's sealed. Just the basic uh, first aid kit stuff like headaches and cuts. And you know what, you know what, you guys know what I'm talking about. And the last tip of items that you need to bring is to bring some towels. I mean, bring multiple towels, some to lay on. Maybe, of course, for showering because you don't want to borrow your neighbor's towels. Oh, and I forgot to mention, also bring a foldable table, maybe some, some lawn chairs so you guys could relax a little bit. Make sure also bring a fan, a battery powered fan because it's gonna get hot. And the day is anywhere between 100 and 105 degrees. If you're going weekend two, it might be anywhere from 100 to 110 degrees. And at night, it gets really cold. So bring blankets, towels. I'm actually in India right now. It's freaking hot. My air conditioning is not working. So this is just not even how Coachella is gonna be. It's gonna be even worse. And I think that's all the essentials. I will have a complete list in the description of everything I mentioned in this video. And maybe I forgot a couple items. I'll put an Amazon link where you guys could buy every single one of these items. And finally, I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to have a better time at the festival because you want some tips. Number one is to take it easy, guys. It's a marathon, it's not a sprint. And this is one of the tips that I've made on multiple videos is you guys wanna take it slow because I've seen, I've seen dozens of people. As soon as I go into the festival, it's Friday, maybe like 2 p.m. I'm barely, uh, I'm getting my Coachella vibes going. I'm walking in and there's already people passing out in the medical tents on a Friday. You just spent thousands of dollars to get to the festival and you're passed out on a Friday. Like you're gonna not only ruin your day, you're gonna ruin your friend's day because they're gonna be worried about you and even if they leave you um, in the hands of the medical staff, they're gonna be thinking about, oh, is my friend okay when they're watching their favorite performance? So don't ruin your friend's days. Don't ruin your friend's experiences. Don't just waste your money, guys. Take it easy. I know you guys wanna party as soon as you get there on Thursday, hammered or whatever. Take it easy. Remember, it's a three-day weekend. It's over 36 hours of music, plus all the events in the campground. So just take it easy, guys. Marathon, not a sprint. If you're at the campgrounds, you definitely need to check out the Silent Disco. It's an experience that you need to experience for yourself because it's so cool you just put on the headphones and you just vibing out personal like speaker system i guess so definitely check out the silent disco another tip this just common courtesy common sense is to make more friends to reach out to people if you have neighbors camping next to you just get to meet them greet them be like hey what's up how you guys doing is this your first coachella how many coachellas you guys been to is it your first festival just make friends be friendly be respectful to others and if you see something sketchy going on put a stop to it if you see somebody trying to steal something or somebody being rude to another person step up and be a good person because we're all here to have a good vibe and if you have some valuables make sure you lock your car put them in there maybe bring a little lock box because again 99% of the people going to Coachella are gonna be good people but just like anywhere else in the world there's always gonna be the 1% that are looking for trouble so just make sure take care of your valuable stuff um, somebody said the best shower times at Coachella is gonna be really packed in the morning so the best time is actually once the festivals already began so maybe shower at 12 shower at 1 once the, the the smaller acts are going on if you don't really want to see nobody till like three or four or maybe you've been there since 12 at the festival and you want to take a little break like around four go shower go refresh enough get a kickstart for the main event just something that people have been saying now when you're checking in you want to get there as soon as possible because the sooner you get there closer to the festival you're gonna be so if you're getting there on a Friday or you're getting there on a Thursday night chances are you're gonna be parked super far away from the festival so you're gonna be car you're gonna be camping but your walk from the to the entrance of the festival to your car is gonna be like a mile away and that's just gonna take a two over a three-day weekend so just make sure you try to get there as soon as you can I know it depends on people's schedules and stuff so just another tip this is another tip that I like to tell people is to bring comfortable shoes I know we want to have the coolest style and we want to show off to our Instagram friends and just make people jealous but remember you're already at the greatest festival in the world people are gonna be jealous that you're at the festival you have to wear comfortable shoes guys you're gonna be walking anywhere between five to ten miles a day hundred degree weather you do not want to be wearing heels you do not want to be wearing just flip-flops and sandals
sandals. Feet are gonna get burned, you're gonna get blisters, it's gonna be uncomfortable. Running shoes, anything that's comfortable, anything athletic. Um, you can still wear nice clothes or whatever to show off. Always wear comfortable shoes. That is one of my number one tips. And another tip, I mean, this is just common sense. Bring a lot of water, bring Gatorades, bring Pedialyte, because this stuff is gonna keep you hydrated throughout the weekend. You also wanna, of course, you're gonna wanna bring your own drinks to have a good time or some substances to have a good time. And when it comes to the check-in, when the, the security's checking your car, just hide your stuff really well, guys, because you know that the security knows that you're bringing something in that you're not supposed to bring into the festival. Then they're not, they know not to check your stuff thoroughly. Like they're gonna be checking your stuff and they find stuff, if they find something that's not supposed to be there, they're gonna continue to search your car even harder because they're like, what, why, why do you have this, you know? Don't have anything, hide it extremely well. And then that way the security will just oh, scan your stuff and let you go. One of the rules is that you have to be 18 years old in order to stay at Coachella overnight. Underage, probably shouldn't be there anyway. But if you happen to be there underage, make sure you guys wear a hat, wear some glasses, try to hide your face from the security guard because they might ask for your ID. They hardly ask for people's IDs, but if you look extremely young, they might ask for your ID, just something uh, you want to take that risk, that's up to you. If I missed any of these tips or items, let me know in the comments below, guys, because again, remember, we're here to help out each other. I also have other videos, five tips on how to save money at Coachella, a 10 tips videos where I give out different tips than I gave out today. I also have 10 tips videos that I did for 2018. And you guys could also help out each other in the comment section. If you guys have more questions, let me know in the comments. If you guys have more concerns, let me know in the comments, and I will try to answer everything for you guys because we're all here to have a good time at the greatest festival in the world. The question for today is, which Coachella weekend are you guys going to? Let me know in the comments. Can you say it? And as always, see you at Coachella.